whiskey lovers. So today we're continuing trying the Starwood series my wife got for September. Now I'm not sure when in September this will be aired, simply due to the big influx. I've had a whiskey lately, so I'm just releasing one every week. Um, it's recorded just before Father's Day. Um, so, we'll see how we go. Alright, so today, you know, again, I would normally go on about the distillery when I have spoken about Starwood before. This is now what, the fourth Starwood video because I've done the twofold, the exclusive for the club, and of course, the Salt Valara. Um, so for today, we will try the Bonova, which is matured in a red wine barrel. Now, the exclusive was a red barrel. Fine. So I'm wondering if it's going to be very similar to that. I recall um, something that was very berry-like, very sweet. Um, not too sweet, um, but more berry than citrus than you normally get in a whiskey. So let's give it a go. Satisfying pop. Okay, so we can see a dark golden ruby colour. Um, as I have spoken in the exclusive Starwood red wine cask. Um, that would be from the red wine. Um, it, um, wooden oak barrels take on the properties of alcohol that's stored in them and we view them into other proper, um, other alcohols afterwards. Uh, particularly whiskey, because whiskey is so strong it just strips those flavors back into it. Which is why we're having um, maturation um, experimentation across the world. Okay, so like the um, like the exclusive, the club, the club exclusive, uh, a very sweet, very light smell. Notes of vanilla and oak. Okay, slightly a bit more citrusy than the um, Club Exclusive. Um, it's an interesting combination of citrus and berry. The berry hints are definitely there, which would be from the um, red wine. Um, but the citrus taste of the whiskey itself is also coming through. Um, I'm not sure this is H statement. I don't think it is. No, there's no age statement on this. Um, but yeah, so definitely very heavy on the nose with the berry. More citrus, and it gives it a more tart than sweet taste um, that that citrus combination does with the um, with the berry taste. Um, so it's not quite as sweet as the Cobb Exclusive. It's a bit more tart, which where it's more in my favour. I'm sure Mel will probably favour more the sweet. Um, but overall, yeah, quite a nice drop. Um, now, I'm not sure where you'll be able to find this. Fortunately, the Australian whiskies like Starwood are very hard to find. You're not just going to usually find them in your local bottle shop. It's simply because they're very small distilleries and very high demand. Um, but, you know, you can keep an eye on their website. I'm not sure where my got is, I'm not going to ask. Um, but yeah. So. I'm going 
nice spicy aftertaste on this uh, side of nose. It's a little bit peppery. So, yeah, so nice combination of very citrus, a bit of vanilla thrown in, and a nice peppery aftertaste. So, until next time, Sunday.